right, I'm back. Um, well, it's it's assembled. Uh, I have made progress, and I've also taken some steps backwards. I did manage to totally slam the hot end into the uh, print surface. That was fun. Because one thing that this kit, or this printer does not come with by default, is end stops. And I was using Print Run, Printerface, and it went looking for those end stops and didn't find them in any direction. And yeah, not good. I have a nice little divot in the there divot in my uh, printing bed. Such is life. Um, that'll learn me. Probably we'll install some end stops. I think that that'll probably be the plan. Um, just so you can see here, trust whatever you want. Um, got some noise of that one at the moment. Probably need to adjust the uh, the potentiometers on that stepper motor, but these ones are all right. Pretty smooth. Um, so I got three axi. Uh, the extruder motor does work. It won't let me do it unless I get the hot end up to heat or up to temp. And the hot end does work if I force filament through it, but uh, what I was struggling with was this particular extruder setup, at least as I currently printed it, and it was a bad print on my part. Um, I had my heat bed too hot and my filament too hot, and it's a little bit deformed. Uh, I was hoping it would work, but uh, it doesn't seem to. It seems to bind up the filament inside of it. Um, but all the components work except one of the things that I printed again being that blue extruder um, component so I'll probably print another one um, and try to sort things out a little bit and then probably install some uh, e-stops because this is ridiculous kind of running it all the way into the end I may also you can see I installed a fan on this side here um, I'd like to get that someplace else because right now it will hit the uh, the receiving portion of the Acme screw. Um, so if I move it over here, that's the furthest I can go with this big fan. It's just something I had. I could gain another well three eighths, half an inch if I uh, am able to relocate that someplace else. Anyway, the design of this extruder was interesting. Um, kind of weird seeing this long leg that you probably can't see because the, the hot end's in the way, but right behind it is this little ducting. Seemed cool, but um, I don't think it's going to work either. I need to reprint it, get a better print, get a different design, something. Um, this is one of those ones with the lever attachment. I don't know that I need that. Uh, I'd rather just get a little direct drive mount on deal, but we'll see. I'll figure something out. So end stops and getting my extruder working. Otherwise, this thing is, is alive, which is nice. I mean, it never was necessarily dead when I got it, but I certainly did an overhaul on it immediately. Um, the other thing that's concerning me a bit is uh, I tried to do a up, uh, firmware upgrade on the printer board, which is a little bit different than the ramps with uh, the Arduino Mega that I'm used to. Um, and it didn't take. So I'm stuck with, at least temporarily stuck with, whatever came preloaded on it, which I'm sure kind of works. But I'd like to fix it a bit. In the meantime, just to get my extruder to work the right direction, I had to reverse the pins in the plug because I couldn't edit it because I couldn't upload it. Again, very frustrating, but it uses a uh, Teensy Adreno or something like that, some flavor of, of Adreno, and it's not as um, straightforward as the Adreno Mega and the clones like that. Who knows? I'd like I'd like to get the standalone printer, you know, that you plug a card into anyway. So maybe I'll just get. Uh, Adreno 
Mega with the ramps and an LCD and some end stops. Probably can get all that for under 50 or around 50, which would certainly give this little printer a boost in the arm. Um, but the motors work, the hot end works. Fan's not working either, which also is a sign that I have an old firmware on the printer board. So I'm trying to get that sorted out. I know the fan itself works, because it's something I had. But Otherwise, did some cable dressing. Again, you see that loom that I am fond of. It seems to be pretty nice. Keeps things clean, tidy. Um, but it does work. The uh, y axis works surprisingly better than I expected. However, I haven't taken it to full extremes or any kind of speed yet. And the only really noisy motor right now is that, that z axis which I'll sort out. So, two alive and almost well. Um, hopefully more to come. Alright, catch you guys later.